The kids are very happy, very excited to see you here. And they are very happy you brought them some ice cream. Madame Mary Agboga is one of the many people who got to witness the smiles on the faces of these children after they spent a good time with their friend. They may only know him as the ice cream guy, but there is more to the story of 27-year-old Kwame Osei Asante. Some people are born with a gift to sing, draw, or paint. For Kwame, the one thing he finds fulfilling is watching the face of a child light up with joy. It's, it's a joy when you go to bed knowing that you put smiles on the faces of these children that I come across. The, you realize that sometimes you are working and some even come to you and, and they, 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 they tell you, are you, are you coming to visit us anytime soon? I love, I love working with kids first and foremost because I understand the love God has for kids. I understand how special they are. I understand the, the potential each of them have, no matter their conditions. And that's one of the reasons, or some of the reasons why I love working with kids. While he was a student at the University of Ghana, Kwame spent every time he had volunteering at non-governmental organizations and engaging in activities that centered on the care and safety of children. Before, before um, first year of junior um, of university, I never thought of myself being a child advocate or humanitarian. I, I, I never even knew what all, all of it was about until I, I, I came across one NGO known as Compassion International where I work with the Accra North Cluster as a coalition officer and then a, a, a quality assurance officer. So that was where it all started. I started working with um, the Compassion Office where I was mainly reading letters of kids, um, looking at how they were faring on the field and, and that's what moved me. It was, it was a contract basis where I had to work with them for uh, five months, five to six months, but I was moved by what I was seeing whilst I was in the office. What the stories and experiences that children shared on the field that we work on made me want to be around them and then have a feel of what they were experiencing. So that's how it all started. In November 2018, Kwame discovered Fun Milk's flavored yogurt, Funky Banana, and he could not keep it to himself. In, in November of last year, I came across this product uh, of Fun Milk Ghana Limited, which is the Funky Banana. It was, it was a product or an ice cream that I really loved. And I was making so much noise about it, especially on social media. Talk, um, sharing my time, enjoying, referring other people as well to also have a feel of the ice cream. And that's how it all started. Earlier this year, I've, I've, I, I decided to help NGOs tell their stories. And one of, the, one of the NGOs I wanted to tell their stories, I wanted to, the, um, the children to have a feel of this uh, funky banana ice cream, which I really love so much. Um, I, I decided to send some of the kids um, some of the ice cream, and, but I had no money on me as I did, because I also had other, uh, other plans for the year. So I, what I did was, I, I wrote a proposal to Family Ghana Limited, a full detailed email talking about my projects, the case I wanted to send to, the number, how I've referred their products to other people, and then how they've also enjoyed and giving me feedback. But unfortunately, they were not able to sponsor. I had no choice, but I was bent on, on sending this, um, this ice cream to the kids because I really knew that they would enjoy so much. Funding his humanitarian activities has not been an easy task, Kwame tells me. Although his friends occasionally come on board to support, there's still so much he could accomplish if he had more assistance. I've, I've, I've received massive support from my Instagram followers especially. Uh, my, some of my friends have also supported and, and, and I've, I've honestly received a lot of support. It, it, it would be nice if Fan Milk 
came to sponsor, so I reached out to Farm Milk. They, they sent me a reply saying they could not sponsor. I also tried talking to one of their people there. I don't really know their connections he has over there, but they also said it's complicated, which as an organization, sometimes it's, it's possible that it can happen. But I also feel that since this is a project that is bringing smiles and happiness, it's something that they can at least support. Um, I met Kwame through social media. I was following his works. Um, I believe he's doing a great job. His humanitarian work and how selfless he is. Kwame, as far as I know, does a lot of things. But then the m probably most remarkable things right now is that He's um, doing this thing where he goes around sharing funky banana ice creams to kids and telling the stories of NGOs in Ghana. To be able to reach out to these kids, I need to use my own money for transportation. I need to use my own money for uh, other things. But sometimes you need to ha have someone to carry these things for you to send to the location that these children are. His biggest challenge right now is not receiving as much funding and support as he should be um, getting, it's like looking at the kind of work he's doing. There are millions of pictures on the internet that portray an Africa incapable of rising above poverty and the faces of more nourished children. Kwame Osea Santi addresses the negative depiction of African children, especially in the Western media saying such narrative do not present the reality on the ground. There's, there's a misconception about African children, that African children are seen as poor, as uh, hungry, with flies around them, with no food to eat and all that, but it is not the case. Even if some of them are in, de are, are in deprived conditions, they are happy. You realize that happiness is found within, not by the circumstances you find yourself. So I, I started creating um, putting together these pictures to encourage people, to inspire people out there, to be able to send a positive uh, view of African children to the, to the world. And I think that the work he does is very linked to his personality. Why? Because um, he's very selfless and very giving. And so far, as, as long as I've known him, he's been very consistent in the things that he's been doing. He's been always giving, always coming up with innovative ideas to give back to society, to help people in need. And I think that's one of the things that endears me to him. I, wa I want you to see a child and then reach out to the child and maybe have it at the, at the back of your mind that this is what Kwame would have done and then you actually do it. Yeah, so that's the legacy I want to leave behind. I want to leave a legacy where, where kids actually look back and then and then remember me for what I've done or the impact I've made in their lives. The more happiness you spread, the happier you get. Every kid deserves a childhood that is worth reliving and Kwame stands ready at every corner, every school, to fight to give these children something to smile about. Many Kwame's age are still finding their purpose. Many blame government for their unemployment. Kwame's story does not only teach the young to be innovative and proactive, but also encourages people of all ages to work tirelessly in making the world a better place.